as far as the face of the NBA. Um, I think LeBron has been that. I think Steph Curry's passed him at least over the last five years or so. But Jason Tatum was asked about the league and what happens when LeBron James retires. And I, I don't know if he was say, Tatum's comment was because of what Draymond Green said about him have, having to win a championship. But I'm glad somebody asked Jason Tatum about the next face of the game because I think he can be that guy. Um, I know he's not, you know, on commercials and, you know, this super popular guy, uh, meaning like, you know, well, he's he's mainstream and in your face all the time. No, he's popular. He's popular. He doesn't have the personality. Yeah, there you go. Personality. That's, it's the personality. But Jalen Brown has zero of that. Little of it. None of it. Yeah, but there's an intensity to the guy. Sure. Where was it? The, the slam dunk contest. Where'd you see intensity in the slam dunk contest? Come on. I now. think he's got to worry about not getting hurt, too. I think he had a broke a wrist if he wanted to. <laughs> you know? You're right. Serious. Yeah, and LeBron just said that on the, on the clip coming back. Do you yeah. have that, by the way, uh, Tom? Is, uh, J- they asked Jason Tatum just about the, the, the who, you know, being the face of the game when LeBron moves on. And uh, if you could play that for us, I thought that was interesting. Obviously, LeBron has been front and center basically that entire time. That's basically the face of the league. I was curious as he's nearing the end of his career. Who do you see as stepping into sort of that presence going forward whenever he does eventually leave the stage? And is that something you've envisioned you potentially being able to do? Uh, absolutely. Um, and I think there, the the league is in a great place right now. The, the amount of high character guys, the amount of talent throughout the NBA, uh, you know, the fact that LeBron and KD and, and Steph are still you know, considered one of the best 10, whatever, you know, players in the league right now at their age and uh, how long they've been playing is incredible, as well as all the younger guys, you know, whether it's guys my age or the guys, you know, a little bit older with the Jokic's and, and Giannis or, you know, guys younger than me. Uh, so I think the, the league is in a great place. But, yeah, uh, when, when LeBron retires, you know, the face of the league, that's tough. But... You know, we win a championship. I got something to say about it. I know that. There you I, go. He needs it. He needs the championship because I don't think he has the other things. Championship stamps you. And then he could sort of flood to the chest flex. I'm going to ask you a question. Right now, if you would say, okay, who potentially, looking forward, who could be the face of the league, Jason Tatum or Giannis? Give me your answer quick. I, I'd probably go Tatum because go he might Giannis be more relatable. Right yeah, because I think. Relatable to who and in what 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 way? The father son aspect, you know, with, with his kid. Um, I don't think kids see that. You know, one is a European player that's come here. Maybe there's there's that aspect to it. Um, but I mean, don't get me wrong. Gian- T-Bone, who's yours? Giannis or T? Giannis or uh, between the two, I'd say Giannis. Yeah, well, and from a marketable standpoint, Giannis. he's got the nickname. What's what's Tatum's Greek nickname? Free, no, uh, yeah. JT. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Agent Zero, Agent Zero is taken. Zero. So I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But like, I like it's there for him. It is no undoubtedly. Yeah, I think from like, a marketability uh, standpoint, I think it's definitely Giannis. God, I mean, from from my basketball watching, it's always been it was Jordan, then it went to Kobe and Shaq, but it's really Kobe. It was Jordan, Kobe, and then it was LeBron for this whole tenure. And now, who's the next guy? That's a great question. My pushback. Because I don't look at Steph like LeBron, and I know Steph's one, and he's won a bunch. I just think LeBron from the dominant player that he is and where he's been and just watch how people gravitate to him and follow him and just it was it's Kobe esque. It's Jordan esque. I don't know if this guy has it in him to be that. Well I think he, he obviously idolizes he would like to Kobe be. Bryant. He would like to be. Of course he does. But but the, no, the game's not. about the three point shot. Giannis doesn't offer that. Giannis is up and down the court. Struggles at free throws. You know, they ha- had to go out and get Damian Lillard, who was the MVP, by the way, uh, last night in the All-Star game. But I just don't think Giannis can do it himself. And you could say the same thing about Tatum yeah. playing with Brown or whatever. I just think Tatum this year has sacrificed his game, has become a better playmaker, has made everybody else better, and should be in the MVP yeah. conversation. Giannis is in it anyways because of his numbers. See, I, I love think the, Tatum I, does more. I love the fact that I have older kids. It's like I have, I have kids. I got 24, 20, you know, 14, and I ask them something like, hey, what do you think about this? Or what's popular? And you can just tell the way trends are and what they like. Like my kid asked me, hey, do we get tickets to Celtics? Uh, when, when's Giannis coming? When's Giannis coming? Like that's superstar. Are there kids in other cities saying, hey, when's Tatum coming? I think we're getting there. 
I don't think we're totally there yet. Because I don't think you, you, you turn on a TV, you don't see the Tatum commercial nationally. I mean, we see it around here. But it's still, it's a quiet commercial if he's doing it. True. That's all. And yeah. uh, But my kid has a Tatum jersey. He likes Tatum. He, he's a quiet superstar, you know? no doubt. His like, play on the court is like, everything. I like Giannis. Giannis just, it's, I think he's in Giannis' shadow as of that. Well, I think, I think that ta- these guys are overrated because of that. Oh, totally. Like Giannis, Luca, I think, is a great player. Yeah, but we don't look at him the same way just because he's sort of that, 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 that floater, shooter, scorer. Uh, Jokic, same way. Uh, Jok- Jokic to me is the best player on the planet. Yeah, and it's hard to market him too, right? That's the thing; he's not marketable. I don't know, like you know, the kids giddy about those two. No, Tatum seems like the more, more dynamic type player. You know, so so to answer this one, was Jalen Brown's weekend bad for Tatum? No, Tatum was being considered the next face of the game, while was- Brown is trying to still show people he has a left hand. Yeah, right. It's, uh, um, yeah, the questions to Tatum are, the, are not the questions to Brown. It's, but it was a good weekend for both. I don't think uh, I don't think one phased out the other. No, but I don't think so either. They played together last Brown, year. Brown got to be on a bigger other. stage. Well, no one's saying that about Tatum. He's saying that about himself. That he could be the next face. Of the, he's saying that about himself. Well, he was asked the question. Yeah, but nobody. What, what, saying should that. he say that he's not the next face of the game though? No, don't do that. And, and just where, the reason why I'm bringing up Draymond Green is. Draymond talked to Tatum and Brown, by the way, and basically said, hey, when you win a championship, people will start considering yeah, you the guy. Do. So maybe that's why he mentioned when I win a championship. Yeah. Maybe it was a, a yeah. dig back. Uh, but how many how many times have we been talking about that? When you win a championship? See, just win one. Win one here soon. Your window is now. This team is stacked and they are loaded. 